Okay, hello everybody. Thank you. Welcome to the EDAP uh, Master Classes. Uh, I'm Sam, I'm the lead instructional designer at EDAP and I'm very excited to show you this uh, really cool solution that we have today and uh, that we're very excited about and we've been building. And it's called the uh, Content Library. And you've heard about it from a couple of people already uh, in the past couple of days. And on a personal note, it feels really, really great to hear that people are using it and then it's giving so much help to everybody. And on the real basic uh, level, the content library is basically uh, a public library full of courseware that's already, that's already made. Okay, so it gives you a starting point. And on an even more basic level, EdApp itself is an authoring tool. It's a training platform, if you don't know already. And what you're looking at here is what we call the admin portal. Now this is basically your workbench. This is where you create training, where you edit training, where you make training and deploy training. But your learners will never see this screen. This is really behind the scenes right now that you're looking at this. And at the top here, we have a button that says Browse Content Library. And if I click on this, you're immediately taken to a library of over 800 courses that have been created by SMEs, trainers at EdApp, and trainers at other companies that wanted to share their training. So that's a kind of a really beautiful thing. But beyond that, uh, what's so cool about it is that you can actually edit it for uh, your needs. But let's just take a look at it. The, on the uh, front page here, you have your trending courses at the top. Uh, manufacturing, construction, retail. And what's so great about this, uh, the trending courses as well, it's very responsive. We're always updating this. Uh, a few weeks ago when Mayor de Blasio in New York made a uh, vaccine mandate at restaurants for dining, the next day we had a course here for restaurant workers to deal with customers that might be a little bit difficult or how to enforce that. So it's very responsive and there's always new things happening here. On the left side, you'll see all these different sections. We have construction, aviation, uh, environmental. If you uh, are interested, we have a nonprofit section that has a lot of collaboration that we did with UN in the beginning of the content library. Uh, but let's take a look at construction here. So if you see here, there are 41 courses in construction. There might be even some courses here uh, that you might not have thought of uh, that you could deploy to, you, to your learners, but you can really just click through here and select the ones that you want. So I'm going to select a few of these. Handling power tools, always good. Fall protection, and I'm going to select scaffold safety. So as soon as I select these, I can uh, import them in one click. Now, before we get there, and just so, just so you can notice here, there are these little numbers on the side of these cards. Uh, these are actually ratings and reviews. So you can see which one is more, you know, which is the most effective, which one has worked for other people. And uh, that's a, a really useful thing as well. Okay, but I selected five courses. I'm just going to import them in. And immediately my dashboard is populated with those courses and they're ready to deploy them to my crew. Um, let's take a look at one of these. So the scaffold safety, for example, if I click on preview, I can take a look at it. I can see if this is what I like. Uh, it says, what is scaffolding? And what's so great about this uh, content library is that we know that generalized uh, courseware, off-the-shelf courseware, doesn't always you know, fit perfectly and what's going to happen at the job site. Uh, it might not even be in the same kind of tone as your, as your organization or your company. And so if that's the case and you want to change anything, there's a button here that says Edit Course. I just click Edit Course. I go into it and I can start making changes right away. So let's say I really didn't like this picture of uh, scaffolding. And I said, you know, this is no good. And maybe I even wanted to put a picture of the job site that I'll be working on tomorrow. I can delete this and upload an image right away. Go into the desktop and open. And there it is. I changed it. Um, if I don't like the title, what is scaffolding, I can change this as well. And you'll see that it 
changes uh, instantly. I could say uh, the job site on Tuesday. And what this does is it creates a very uh, personal lesson. You could even have pictures of your coworkers there if you'd like. There's just a, a ton of possibility here. And so that's what's uh, one of the great things about the content library. But before I publish it and deploy it, uh, I can even go a step further to personalize it. I can actually add a logo onto every slide and every lesson in this course in one click. And I'll just show you how to do that. On the top left here is where it will go. So keep your eye here. There's nothing here right now. But if I click here on the title, branding, down to logo, I can upload my logo instantly. And watch the magic happen. Go over to lessons, and now it's on the corner of all my lessons very quickly. And so that is the content library. Now this is a, uh, we're just gonna go through like a, this is a very quick demo. Uh, Molly and Summer are gonna come out very shortly. But I just wanted to show you that and to also let you know that uh, we are always expanding this library. Uh, soon we're gonna have a gig economy pack. We're going to have uh, security and cleaning services. And we're also taking requests. So if there's an industry that you want to see in the content library, you want to see some courseware uh, being made, you can contact me. I'm at sam at edapp.com. And please feel free to email me. If you have any questions about this, you can always email me as well. On the edapp website, we have uh, authoring sessions. You can sign up for a one-on-one -on -one session. And if you have even more questions just about workplace training, there's actually a LinkedIn group that we have called Train On. So if you go to LinkedIn.com, search Train On, you'll see our group. Okay, thank you very much. I'm going to send it over to Molly and Summer. Thank you, everybody. Just let me come.